Okay, so I'm trying to do the right thing at all times. Um, yeah, I believe, like, to some extent, like, you know, art is a pretty constructive way of, like, you know, essentially, like, getting what you feel, like, off your chest, right? Depending on how you do it. So there's, like, there's some art that's healthier than others. But, like, I can't judge because, you know what, like, technically, if you're doing any kind of art form, like... I think it's better than the alternative, which is basically, like, beating yourself up, which could ultimately lead to you doing something really harmful to not just yourself, but also, and consequentially, others. Um, so, yeah, like, my art form at the moment is basically, like, uh, I'm trying to make, like, mini, super condensed, like, uh, art pieces. So, like, I was thinking of scrolls because I literally have this. And right now it's basically, like, it's a scroll. So, literally, like, I have a pencil. And the pencil extends, right? It's relatively rigid. It's about, like, that long. But I can, uh, yeah, I can kind of do drafting. I usually just mostly use it for lists. Wow, it's like really unfunctionally like now like now that somebody's like watching me like it does not fold in, right. That's hilarious. Like, but that's how it goes. Like Murphy's Law. But yeah. So like and then I have like a mini eraser on an old bamboo Q-tip that I just put there. So it's like for erasing. And then uh, and then my scroll basically just old uh, discharge or release papers from hospital emergency um, yeah so like on, the, on my scrolls I basically just have like my list of things to do and then uh, yeah also yeah it's just really it's always on me so like if I'm like I'm like oh I gotta write this down like this is like super important I'm just like literally just like pop my tab and then like uh, yeah, like, I can always, I can always get an idea out, like, in an emergency situation, so, like, in the, like, but if I, if my phone is not charging, right, or, yeah, it just makes more sense to be writing down a number, because I, for me to, like, pull up notes in this phone is, like, hard for me, I don't know, like, voice memos and recording is not hard for me, so, like, you know, but, like, if I was, like, reading a number or listening to someone say a number I'm not gonna pull up a video to write down a number to like record a number I'll just record it with this thing um, and then yeah like basically have uh, I have my sharpies it's kind of like I used to have I used to have a whole rainbow but like I can't carry a rainbow on me at all times so uh, yeah so basically like I have them all together so that like you know they're all together you know and they're like if i grab one like i need to change a color i'm like i'm like oh bam looks like it's like freaking sharpie fucking nunchucks nunchuck sharpies nunchuck sharpies and then yeah like my objective is basically like when this let's say like i use this sharpie up i'm basically gonna save the old sharpie and then reuse the lid on the new sharpie and then put it there so like i'll make a new I'll make a new thing for this with the old Sharpie bits, right? Because like technically your Sharpie should always be hanging down. And if they're hanging down, the ink is like being driven down to the tip for gravity, for from gravity. So like, yeah, my mom, she did dra drafting or whatever and her Sharpies and pens would always be face up. And then like, whenever I went to her office, I'd be like, hey, can I borrow a pen? She'd be like, yeah, sure. And, like, and then I'd go and grab a pen, and then like, I'd try it, and then I'd be like, fuck. And then I'd try another one, I'd be like, fuck. And I'd try another one, I'd be like, what the hell, mom? Like, why don't you just put your pens, like, fucking face down? Like, this makes no sense. Like, yeah, like, so that was one thing. So, um, yeah, I basically have the same thing with these fountain pens, kind of, fountain pen style. And then, yeah, so those are my, those are my pen systems. And then, uh, yeah, I learned... From, and I've seen from a few different places that collaging is actually very useful 
and for generating the little thing that goes in there. I mean, you can lick the piece of paper and then rip it that way without having to use scissors. Um, but scissors just, like if you're doing a lot of cuts in a short amount of time, like a pair of scissors makes a lot of sense. They don't have to be super long. They can just be like, literally like tiny scissors. Like even just like, cause if you, if you use tiny scissors, like you're, you're gonna save so much time. Like, and it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty essential tool. Like, so if you're using tape or, you know, you have a bit of fabric that you want cut or something, or, you know, like anything really. Like, so it's, they're pretty useful. So basically, yeah, the, the result of those things has enabled me to sort of get organized with regards to doing a bunch of sort of stuff like in the beginning it was essentially like a note for emergency because like I would have my um, my IDs so emergency would essentially ask me for my IDs and the IDs would be super uh, tricky to sort of for registration to read so what I ended up doing was I stuck my IDs like numbers because that's all that's all the registration needed that's all the registration desk needed when they were checking me into emergency is my number so I just like print my number out like gigantic like literally like 10 times the size of what is on an ID card which is attached to my phone right you know it's just like yeah, my ID is actually hanging from my phone because I have like a little ring that's connected to the case so yeah everything like my phone if I lose my phone I lose my wallet as well but it's all very organized so yeah I think the most useful thing I've done is do this. So like right now, my debit card is connected to my driver's license, connected to my health card, connected to my Presto Pass, connected to my library card, and it's all, it's all essentially like together and it folds. It folds on itself, so it folds on itself so that like I don't lose anything, right? And then I was like, I was like, oh, the scroll idea, like, the scroll is obviously like a very, very old idea. Like apparently like they were doing scrolls before they were doing books. Like before books were bound or whatever, they were doing scrolls. So I'm like, okay. So like, yeah, like my scrolls, um, I think the problem is like the reason scrolls didn't survive is because they weren't necessarily laminated. And also they were uh, subject to basically vandals or people who wanted to basically destroy their enemies so like when they captured their enemies like I don't know sometimes they would just like burn everything they had or destroy everything they had or like secretly store everything that they had somewhere else so that like whatever like they could be used or benefited from in the future you know what I mean they're like oh like this stuff is actually extremely valuable it's also like kind of like secret documents for a civilization so like we'll just like capture it and then squirrel it away somewhere and then like you know like maybe use it in the future or yeah like so something like that's going on so like I basically didn't want to write anything down I didn't want to write like I was like I was like I'd prefer not to write anything down but like literally like I got no choice so I'm like I'm like okay fine whatever you guys like you're literally keeping me alive, it feels like, to write stuff down. So I was like, all right, like, you want a scroll from me? Like, I'll give you a scroll. Like, but, like, I'm going to try to just make it as, like, G general audiences as possible. You know what I mean? Like, and then also, like, you know what? I kind of want to just remix the stuff that's available from my time period, right? So that it's not really too much, like, it is partially related to me, but also, like, you know what? Like, it's literally, like... Anything I'm producing is essentially just like, to be perfectly honest, it's just brainwashing from my personal experience. So like, I have like, I've been brainwashed to think certain things are relevant and important to remember because it's how I am programmed to cope with reality. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, like, what's some art that I can produce that's gonna help me cope with reality? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I was like, I was like, I can't store anything because I don't have an apartment and my parents are like emptying, like they don't let me keep anything at the house. Like, or if they do, they move it and disturb it. And then like, I'm looking at my stuff and I'm like, my, 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 my duffel bag, for example, wasn't there yesterday. 
I like show up at the house and my like I, the first thing I do is I look for my duffel bag and it's gone and they have a gigantic house and I was like I was like what are you doing with it and they're like we brought it to the shop you know and I was like I was like why did you do that she's like well we needed space in the basement because uh, the guys are working here tomorrow I was like I was like okay like literally the last time I was here the guys showed up in the morning when I woke up and like now that I'm here a week later literally nothing has changed in the basement except for my bag going missing right and I'm like all right so like I can't necessarily so I have a whole nother scroll in my duffel bag that my parents like just moved to the shop because it was in the way apparently they could have just put it in the guest bedroom I didn't know why they didn't do that the other thing is like the guest bedroom in the basement I built and then the other thing about the guest bedroom is like it's that was my room is totally loaded with Dagmar stuff who lives in Florida I'm like, she lives in Florida. I still, like, technically live in this city. I built that room that all Dagmar stuff is in. I'm like, I'm like, okay, whatever. I was like, maybe, I'm like, you know what? Like, clearly, Dagmar's stuff is more valuable than my stuff. But, like, my reactions, I guess, are more valuable than Dagmar's reactions. So, like, I'm just meant to be, like, you know, the sort of Grinch about this situation. Except, like... I'm not the one hoarding stuff, because I'm pretty sure the Grinch hoard stuff, like... Anyways, so, like, literally, like, um... Yeah, I have, uh... The scroll. So the scroll... It's basically, like, a toilet paper roll. This is an old toilet paper roll. I used to have it on a scotch tape. So, like, or, like, a big, you know, the packing tape or whatever. So the packing tape container, or the packing tape rolls which I learned from a guy in Kingston who was a friend who was a film student with my sister Raven. And uh, he was like, he had, a, he had a mom who worked in um, like a packing tape factory basically. And the packing tape factory, like he'd bring all these old spent rolls home, like here to his apartment. And then he'd just like wear them on his wrist. And then he'd write stuff like on the rolls, like on the, um, on the tape dispenser rolls, the spent ones. And then he had like, he made me like, he's like, yeah, just tie a rope around these um, things and then he had like one that was like floor to ceiling of just like spent tape rolls right with just hand his handwriting on it like they were kind of like bracelets except I was like cool and then like I'm doing the same thing except I'm making rolls so I'm like okay cool so he does like he basically did like the, the center of the rolls or whatever so like yeah and then I met Elizabeth and she's like I'm collecting toilet paper rolls I was like I was like okay so yeah I have one at the moment, I have two scrolls. One's at my parents' shop, which was put there, like, kind of in a really kind of bitchy kind of way. And I was like, I was like, okay, you know, I mean, can't, can't call them bitchy, because if I call them bitchy, then I'm in trouble. So, but I did just call them bitchy, so I'm like, all right. Like, but I'm trying to be good-humored about it. So, yeah, that roll is at my parents' house. It's about as equally as long as this one. And, uh, yeah, this is what's on this one that I just, this is my recent one. So there's, I got a citizen's report online pamphlet when I went to report that my hygiene kit was stolen in the emergency department. I drew a Transformers Optimus Prime sort of, I can't remember, there's the good Transformers and then there's the negative ones. And then I uh, put made two paper hearts or whatever and I put Republic and Republic Empire, Sith Jedi and then I put them together and they kind of did something neat. So like, yeah, they fold together nicely. And I was like, I was like, oh, Jedi Republic. So basically like I put the two hearts together and they canceled out the, uh, the sides that represent more sort of the destructive path and sort of colonization path. So like the sides that are represent like kind of uh, subtraction are uh, canceled. Like, they're, they're not, not canceled, but they're just, like, they're there. You can tell what they are. You know what they are, but they're basically, like, kind of hidden, which is appropriate, because I think, like, realistically, those kind of uh, things in Star Wars were more, like, along the lines of, like, they would show up secretly and make decisions without, like, basically the entire galaxy's consent. And then I was like, yeah, it's just the same thing, sort of red, blue, lightsaber, and then, like, you know, yin and yang. But, like, realistically, like, there could only, there could, there's, yeah, there's only sort of, yeah. And then I was like, I was like, oh, diet, like, you know, goals. 
So I just wrote a goal down. And then, uh, you know, peaceful assisted suicide emergency request, like, kind of nicely written. And then this is just like a standard uh, readout of the discharge paper or the release paper that I get when I visit UHN. So it just gives me, like, you know, blood pressure, temperature, pulse, rep respiration, oxygenless saturation. So, like, the, the, the uh, Sharpie in blue is basically, like, the average is what I'm told by Google. So, like, I'm pretty close to average, like, at all times. And then, um, yeah, and then, like, the reason for visit is, like, pretty consistent. They never say what I say I'm there for, which is past or assisted dying. They have no category because they just have a list of categories, like, chick, 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 and they just go, like, depression, suicide, deliberal suicide, home. but they never say like, reason for visit, assisted suicide. They never say assisted suicide is the reason for visit. I'm like, okay, right. And then diagnosis, they always go like, mental health problem, and I'm like, I'm requesting suicide, I'm not ill, so like, yeah, like, I'm requesting suicide, like, I'm not ill in my opinion, like, everything's perfectly fine with me, it's not me that's the problem, and I'm going like, hey, but I'm like, you know what, the way that I solve my problem is I get assisted suicide because if you're if you're getting bullied, the best way to the best way to deal with a bully is just like move away. You know what I mean? You don't like you don't like like you you can tell the bully like, hey, I think you're bullying me, and then like after that point you just go like, alright, I gotta move away. Because like, that's all I can do, right? And then I go like uh, old, stupid, repetition, designed obsolescence. So, like, that's something my dad sort of said to me, designed obsolescence, and I'm like, I'm like, okay. And then information technology, and then I was like, It. So, It is a fictional character, Stephen King. And I was like, it's also a pretty cool, you know, uh, It in information technology. So, like, every, everybody's like, I wonder what It is. What is It? And I'm like, I'm like... You just said it. Like, like, what does it stand for? Information technology. So, like, somebody's like, like, they, they might be talking, they could be talking about anything. They could be talking about God, right? And they could be like, what is God? Like, what is it? Right? And if you just look up the abbreviation of it, you get Stephen King, you know, with regards to his novel on, like, the, the ghost thing slash spirit that basically, like, transforms into your worst nightmare or you get it which is like information technology so like the phone that i'm using right now is generating is is a piece of information technology and it's gathering information so like i'm using an it right now so that's pretty cool so i was like i was like yeah i think that's in my scroll i was like yeah information technology very important like and then i was like i was like yeah the city the city of toronto definitely needs more uh more tunnels in my opinion so i was just like yeah like then i was just made sort of doing a diagram of how like you know i'd design a subway system it would be like you know sort of like a line and then like the excavated earth from the tunnel would turn into a mountain and then the mountains would be connected to gondolas and then like you know the mountains could also be like gardens that go up you know what i mean and then like yeah, and then, yeah, past or whatever. And I was like, I was like, yeah. And then the other thing is, like, a tunnel boring machine that essentially, like, worked kind of like a jet engine. So, like, if the stuff going inside of a jet engine, like, the air going in, like, it all gets condensed and fires out. So, like, if we had the same sort of concept for a drill, you know? So it's, like, a big opening that it creates, and then, like, it just creates a little tiny thing on the outside. So, like, yeah, I don't know how tunnel works, but, like, yeah. And then I was like, yeah, science, so like, yeah, science is basically like imagine, and then science, it's like a, it's like a feedback loop, and then research, development, research, development, research, development, and then it's like, like a ladder, and then it's also like, and it's like, yeah, just like, sort of like, ideas that kind of like nurture growth, like I'm trying to like nurture growth, but also like, like constructively manage it so that I'm like I'm like yeah so I'm just like I just gotta wanna like be old like I wanna like not not instill fear but kinda just like I'm like okay well I had some I had some serious fear installed in me and I'm like I'm like you know what like this can all be avoided and I'm basically trying to just like 
release ideas that are, in my opinion, kind of constructive with regards to just going through the fear, which is completely unnecessary, in my opinion. So, and yeah, I was just like playing around with hatching symbols, and I was like, I was like, oh, I remember from architecture the hatching symbol for insulation. So that's the hatching symbol for insulation, and then you know, I was like investigating teardrops, and then I was like playing around with teardrops, and then I was like, you know, playing around with everything and. With regards to yeah, and all this is all this is relatively around the time of March 9th. and then um, yeah, and then this one's basically the seven point star, which is like a fairy star, and then I was like you know Star of David, and I was like you know kind of more like you know Christian based cross thing, and then I was like I was like kind of improvising, and I was like yeah, I was just trying going around, and I was just like yep, yeah. I was like I don't know, so heart, and then I was like flower, and then I noticed the pie symbol is kind of like if you just like. Ge 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 geometry like if you just lay out the pie symbol and then if you just like squish it together you can kind of make like an arch out of it which i thought was kind of neat so like if you uh condense it or i don't know where it went but it was somewhere there and then like you know just tried to draw a fist like drawing a fist is kind of hard and then this is just like more writing basically more writing and then you know, like i just like kind of generically put my because it's useful it's kind of useful to make your own labels, so I basically just made my own labels, like, and then, you know, like, if for whatever reason I want to leave, leave a package somewhere, or leave my bag somewhere, or leave something somewhere, like, I could just, like, leave my label with it, and then, like, yeah, it's like, it's like, like oh, yeah, when in doubt, like, if you're wondering what this object is, like, you can take it, and, or you can call this number, or you can have this contact, right? Like, I did that one time, I was like, for a second there, I thought it was going to be homeless, so I, like, basically took my most important things and then I went to the Don Valley River and then like with a garbage bag and my things and stuffed them in a garbage bag and stowed them away and then I left a note on the garbage bag that said like you know if if this is still here by like a month from now and then I put the date that it was left there and I put the date that would be a month from now right I was like if it's still here by this time it's yours you found it like it's yours you can own it you can take it right and then because yeah like i found a lot of really weird stuff like in the forest or like abandoned and i'm like whose is this where did it come from like are they coming back for it like i really hope they get this back you know what i mean or like and then i'm like i'm like okay well it doesn't seem to be wanted or whatever so i'm like i'm like what do i do with it right I'm like i'm not sure what to do with it you know so like basically like i'll uh yeah i like, sent it yeah, so that's happened a lot. So like, I was like, I was like, okay. So like, maybe having a label system that's just ready to go is useful because then, like, I can basically just like send it away to uh, like if I if I have to leave my stuff somewhere random again because I don't have a reliable parents' house to leave it at, then like maybe I can do that. And then if it gets stolen, you know, like it'll have a history and then they'll be like oh I'll be like oh well you know what like i found it in the park and like apparently it was this guy's but you know what i needed it more and their intention was basically set and you know what like i thought that was really cool that they basically like labeled their stuff and like had an intention for it you know like um or like they found it like after i had set like a deadline for it being picked up right and they were like yeah like it was amazing like i found this stuff and like i didn't have to worry about where it came from or whose it was or returning it because they said like if it's there past this date like you can have it which i thought was great and then uh yeah there's there's uh I made some like fingerprints basically some fingerprint ids and i was like sort of the concept of a tree so like this is my right thing the right thumb left thumb and then i was like yeah it was like a tree and then with the branches and then the root it's like a really badly drawn tree and i was like i was like yeah and then basically like if you you like connect the two like you just go then it's like it's a full tree it connects the cycle it connects the you know the bridges the gap essentially so i was like i was like yeah that's that's basically my right uh left thumb and then like yeah, and then I, I did, like, you know, pretty much like that, like that, and then I labeled, so I went, like, you know, like that sort of thing, and then I, like, you know, signed it, put my initials, put the date, and then that's the, uh, that's the end of my toilet paper roll, so, but yeah, I thought that was kind of useful, and then, like, sometimes on the back, 
you know? Like on the back, I'd put like the date and then like where I did it, if I had time. But like to that is like on most of the backs of these things, it's just old pieces of paper, right? Cause like most pieces of paper are not actually double-sided. And then you can basically take the ones that aren't double-sided or like the large blank spaces in between pieces of paper that have like words in them. And sometimes when they have words in them, they have a bit of a history too. So like maybe you like, cause people will just give you pieces of paper. You know what I mean? Like the cops like gave me this. And I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, I can just take a picture, right? And they're like, here, just, just take it. I was, like, I was like, okay, so I took it. And then I'm like looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, this is actually kind of neat. And I was like kind of browsing it or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, cause like sometimes when I'm looking at my screen, I just get distracted. I'll just go right to Facebook or I'll go to check my social media feed and then I'll get a message and then I'll just get totally distracted. And then I, you know, I pick up the thing the cops gave me and I was like, oh, thank you. Or I pick up the thing the library gave me and I'm like, oh, thank you. Or I pick up the thing the hospital gave me for drop-in centers and I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, like, so I'm like, yeah, there's definitely a use for paper. Paper is very useful, you know? And then especially, it's, it's also super useful for adaptive reuse, right? Like, I couldn't have done, I was like, I was like, Fingerprints are freaking beautiful. I was like, look at these fingerprints. You know? I was like, can I zoom in? Yeah. Like, look at that. I was like, everybody's got a completely unique fingerprint. They also have eyeballs. Like, I wonder if I could film my eyeball right now. Like, I wonder how this is gonna turn out. But I'm gonna go, ooh. Yeah. The other thing I keep forgetting is my mom actually, I want to say like three years ago, when I was on antipsychotics, my vision was literally going like, <sighs> okay, so the only way I can describe it is my vision was actually going foggy. And I, my vision had never gone foggy before in my life. And I was like, I was like, wow, the only difference in what's happening with me right now is like, I started taking antipsychotics. The antipsychotics are literally making me not see properly. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? I was like, I was like, okay. I'm like, and I tell her, I was like, I was like, I'm like, I didn't want to go on antipsychotics. Like, just so you know, like I'm losing my vision right now. And then she's like, she's like, Okay, well then I was like, my, my doctors who prescribed it were like, oh, get your, get your eyes checked, right? So I think that was like an incognito excuse to have my eyes basically had taken pictures of. So like, you know, so like, I'm like, I'm trying to like, I don't know, I was like, I was like, yeah, I kind of want, I kind of want those pictures of my eyes that were taken because like, I'm just curious, like, you know, I would like to see, I'd like to have access to my eyes like my eye pictures and then like I totally post them because I'm like you know what eyes are totally like beautiful like when it, whenever, whenever I'm looking at someone's eyes I'm like, I'm like wow like you have everybody has like amazingly beautiful eyes and they're all like super different and I'm like can't get enough and I'm like I don't know why I don't know why on our like social media feeds or whatever like or our pages we don't have like basically like our eyeballs like, it'd be cool to have, like, our eyeballs just, like, totally recorded, you know? Because the other thing is, like, when you log on to phones now, like, I didn't, like, I was like, this is a new thing. I was like, I was like, what? It just, like, recognizes my face, and then I don't have to, like, enter my code. It just, like, opens, and I'm like, I'm like okay. You know what I mean? They never used to do that. They did, they used to do the thumbprint print thing, but, like, you know what would be next level is basically just, like, eyeball check. You know? like, I'm like, I'm looking forward to that. Like, I'd actually like that because, like, you know, I wouldn't, like, it, when if, if I'm at a bank machine, for example, and I can't remember my pen, I would love to just be able to, like, look at the, look at the camera, and then it just goes, like, all right, like, his face matches, his eye matches, his thumb matches, and then, yeah, maybe his, like, secret handshake, you know, matches with the machine, like, maybe there's, like, you know, you could literally just go up to the machine and kind of be, like... And then it goes like, hey, hey, I recognize you. And then it goes like, okay, you know what I mean? So like you got little, little like secret handshake with like AI, you know what I mean? Like I'd love to have like, not just like eyeball stuff and like, you know, like this sort of stuff, but like, you know, just secret handshake stuff where it's like undeniably, like there's like no denying it. Like you have like a, 
It's like almost like a lie detector secret handshake with AI. That'd be super cool. Like I'd love to have that.